Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today we are doing the November How to Kill It Kit with Style Kit Share. So I'm going to start off with what's already on my desk and then I'll talk about how I'm organizing my kits this month. I talked about it a little bit in October in case you guys missed that. I'll have those videos linked down below as well in case you're interested. But now I'm keeping part of it on my desk and part of it in drawers. So this is the only part of my kit that stays on my desk. And these are exclusive things that I picked out for this kit. They don't really fit in my other storage solution, which again, I'll show you later on. So I did pull this out again from last week, or last week, last month. I didn't get a chance to use this Americana Premium Heavy Gel Medium Gloss, but I do plan on using it this month for some really fun layouts. We'll see how it goes. Um... I have a hard time doing mixed media, especially my process videos, because of the dry time. I usually want to do a whole video while I'm sitting here, not wait for something to dry, or use my heat gun. That's just not something I prefer. So we'll see if I get to that this month. I also have a Shimmers Paint Pasties in the color Hold the Mustard. And this is sort of an indicator of what kind of colors I'll be working with this month. Um, so this is like a bright, bright yellow. I think I've only used this once before, and I definitely want to try to use it again. Um, it's just a smooth dimensional paste, so it's like a um, modeling paste. And since it's been on its side, it's kind of tipped over, but it's essentially the color of mustard. Actually, I think it's brighter than mustard, so. Um, I also have this stamp. This is from Close to My Heart. It's called Little Leaves. Let's see. To avoid glare, I'll take it out real quick. Not that you can see it now. <laughs> but it's just this little leaf stamp. Um, I have to hold it up closer so you guys can actually see what the heck it is. Um, so let's just see the little leaves, backgrounds, and you can like repeat it. I think I've only used this once or twice before. I'm um, actually wanted it in a giveaway. Um, so I'm really excited to try to use that again. I have two Shimmer Paints Acrotones, and these are actually from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. Actually, all my shimmers are. That's where I always pick up my shimmers products. Um, I'm just mixing these up. These are just uh, acrylic paints that don't need priming, so they're like a little bit thicker than normal paints. Um, so they don't like seep into the paper as much. So I have Orange You Glad and Roses Are Red. And if you guys didn't know, I'm on the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. So I'll be featuring these sort of items in those videos on that channel. And I always have a discount code linked down below for you guys. Um, so you guys can get a discount on every order. So I'm really excited to use these. I've never used either of these. This one does show up more pink. So I'm excited to see. It says Roses Are Red. So I think it kind of dries more of a reddish color. But we shall see how it turns out. But again, more mixed media. Trying to do a lot of that this month, but we'll see how it goes. November's going to be a crazy month. Um, then I actually have three shimmers, and I think these are all the shimmers that I own currently. Um, but I have It's Meant to Be, which they're not mixed up, but essentially it's a lightly pigmented watercolor then with a ton of sparkle in it. So you can like dilute it to make it um, slightly different colors. This is the shimmers in the color Orange Sherbet. Again, they're not mixed up right now, so it's hard to tell. And this one is Pull Me Closer. So cute. And I'll have everything linked down below that's in this kit. Um, so you guys can grab it if you're interested in these colors. So obviously you have like a tropical color scheme going on. And lastly, I have this uh, ribbony twine pulled out. I used to use this all of the time. Let me know if you guys remember those videos. I think they were still when I was in college. So I want to say 2016 maybe. But I used to use this twine all the time. I got it for like 30 cents at Michael's and I haven't stopped using it since. So there's those items. Again, you can kind of get the color scheme that I'm going for. At least I hope you can um, because I'm really excited about it. Put all these back in here. See, it looks so much prettier before, and now it's like this, but whatever. So those stay on my desk over here to the left side. Um, and then, like I mentioned before, I have three drawers. Well, I mentioned it in my previous video, but I have three drawers in a unit that's right under my desk to the left side of my desk. Um, there's three drawers. Two are just plain thin drawers, and one's a divided drawer. So I'm going to actually start with the top drawer here, which is like the main color palette that I picked out. So I'm going to move some of these items out of the way so we can look at the papers first. So the papers that I use to inspire this entire thing, let me move this back out of the way. And it's really nice to have drawers because I don't have to keep everything on my desk like it was before. Um, anyway, the collection that I used to inspire this sort of color scheme was this collection by Wild Whisper. And again, if you guys didn't know, I'm on the Wild Whisper design team and this is the newest release. Um, it's called Palm Paradise, very tropical, trying to get some tropical vibes. I know a lot of people for the group are going to be doing some more fall themed, some more rustic themed or like warmer toned projects this month. So I decided to go crazy and go with Palm Paradise. Um, and this is the 12 by 12 single page pack. So you get a cut apart sheet, a beautiful watercolory looking stripe. 
this beautiful mosaic pattern, and then a little gray cactus pattern. Here I have some fruity uh, watercolor as well. And this one's more of like um, a rocky ocean floor. These are very beautiful papers. This beautiful pink color um, says things like sunshine on my mind, palm paradise, tan lines, cute. This one might be one of my favorites. It's absolutely beautiful. Very bold floral. This reminds me of Hawaii, even though I've never been to Hawaii, but like Hawaii pictures on this page would look amazing. There's this beautiful tile work. Some little palm trees. Very cute and tropical. More cactuses, but these are smaller green cactuses. And then we have the birds of paradise here, which are super cute. And I think I might try to use this on a Disney page. We will see. Um, beneath that is just an alphabet set that I had uh, from a different collection. It was just at the bottom because things were starting to pop out. This is actually from Kay and Company. And there's little airplanes on all of the letters and numbers. Um, and they range from orange to red. So I thought I went with this collection pretty well. And you can kind of see how I picked the mixed media items out based on this collection. So maybe we should keep our inspiration piece right up here. I don't think it's going to stay, but I did pull out a bunch of other papers, of course, to go with it because despite having a lot of travel photos, I don't always want to do travel photos during the month that I particularly pull out this kind of stuff. So I pulled out this Kane Company paper, which is from a Brenda Walton collection. Um, it's definitely a more vintage collection, but this side definitely feels the theme with the uh, tropicalness. This one's an American Crafts just yellow pattern paper. Again, bringing in that bright color. This is a Coordination's light green polka dot. Um, it's called light green small dot actually. And that's just a thicker cardstock. This one is the title, the label's cut off, so I'm not 100% sure where this is from, but it's got a light teal stripe and then a polka dot on the other side, so very versatile. This is a super old piece of paper from my stash. I'm not 100% sure where it's from, but I really liked the um, tiling. Again, reminded me of the Wild Whisper collection. This one's some beautiful waves. Again, just a random one from my stash. This one's from Colorbach. It's called, I'm not sure what that says. Flavia? Flaria? It's called 12 by 12 Waves. Um, it's really cute. It actually doesn't look 12 by 12, but supposedly it is. This one's from Studio Calico. Uh, it's the Pickup Lines collection or pickup lines is what it's called, it's from 2015. This side's actually gotten dirty. Um, I'm really hoping to use this. I've had this since I got that Studio Calico grab box a while, while back. It wasn't grab box, it was a order that I placed, but this came in one of the sets, I guess. Um, but I really like this paper. And then I picked out a couple colored cardstocks. I have a bunch of whites pulled out, because as you guys know, I don't use white cardstock very often. But with my mixed media that I've pulled out, I'm gonna need some white cardstock. I pulled out this beautiful golden yellow color. Um, these two are actually both from Studio Calico, again, from that same uh, purchase that I made last time, and then a beautiful neon green, which matches this perfectly. Um, so those will probably be used for layering. Then you might have seen this, but I kept pulling it off my table here, but I have these, I'm going to set these down. I had these sort of cut apart pieces. These are from Kane Company as well. Um, again, very old. I don't have the packaging anymore, but they're absolutely beautiful. So this one's a globe. And if you guys don't know, I don't have like a silhouette or a Cricut or anything to cut out cut files with. So like finding this was a great deal. Um, this one's actually cruise themed. There's a little cruise ship and an airplane. And these are so tangled. Um, so there's an airplane up here and then a cruise ship down here. Super cute. Again, just a border around the edges of your layouts. And then the last one's a little more simpler and just covers like the whole page, but it's simpler yet it got tangled. Um, it's just this orange one. I don't, I think it goes this way because it says explore, dream, discover. There's like a giant sundial, some damask pattern up here, and then these tropical looking flowers on the side. So I'm going to try to stack these back together without entangling them. But it's very difficult. I should have definitely left them in the packaging, um, but sometimes that's not the way we can organize things, so I had to take them out. But really excited to use those. And then I had pulled out the uh, this paper pad, which I picked up on clearance one day at Walmart. Um, it's color box designer paper called Hootenanny. Hootenanny? I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's just a bunch of bright and bold colors. And it's 8x8, which is unique. Um, again, has all of the bright and bold colors. I'm not, like, I don't love this pattern. 
Um, so I think we'll see how I can use this. Like, I don't like this one either. It's cute, but I don't think I'll use it. So maybe I'll try to make some cards with that um, this month. But I think some of these will definitely be great for layering. Since I'm seeing a small bit of this pattern, it's not as ugly to me. Does that make sense? Like, this is very neon. Not really my style. But if I just did a little sliver of this around a photo, I think it'd be more appealing. So we have a bunch of colors to use here. Definitely not a terrible paper pad. Like, definitely some things I can use. And then I'm excited to try to use. But, like, these things are going to be really hard for me to use. So we shall see where this takes us. This one's very hard for me to look at. Um, but the owls are cute, so... I mean, for $2.50 for an 8x8, that's a pretty good deal. So that's why I picked it up. Um, but I have had it for a while. Uh, yeah, so this was says uh, week number 41, November 13th, 2014. Now, mind you, I have used it before a couple of times. Just a couple, but that's it. Also in my kit, I have two thicker sets. I have this white one, which is the Amy Tangerine Today. Just gorgeous white foam thickers. I've only used one set there, so pulled those out for some titles. And then I pulled out these thickers, Good Life. Um, I'm trying to use some of my Tuesday morning thickers up, and as you guys know, I don't live near Tuesday morning currently, so like once I do live near Tuesday morning again, I want to make sure I don't have a lot in my stash so I can pick up as much stuff as possible. But I thought a lot of these florals worked well. They've got the bright orange in there. Um, this is a copper foiling, and as of right now, there isn't any other foiling that I've shared with you, so hopefully we can use this. And then I also pulled in these. Now, these won't be available on Wild Whisper's website for a while, but if you do live in Canada, they go to various shows where you can use these beautiful stick or stickers beautiful stamp sets um you can pick them up there um always follow their facebook page and their instagram to find out what shows they'll be at um, but they've been traveling to different um, places so definitely be on the lookout for those um and they will be available later this year which is super exciting um look how gorgeous these are guys you need to get these when they come out which will be later this year sorry to tease you but they're coming i promise so now i'm going to put all this back away um, before i make a huge mess on my desk which I probably should have been doing this as we went, but I did not. So I'm going to do is kind of pick up this whole paper section here, slide them into the base, make sure they all fit. Now this one from Can Company only fits one way. Okay, that can go there. And I just kind of layer everything in the whatever way it fits. No rhyme or reason, really. Just as long as it closes, which at this rate it will not close, so let's hope that closes. Um, so we have two more drawers to go through. Um, this is, again, a big kit. I always do big kits. It's like my, my, that's my thing. Um, this one's an embellishment slash things that didn't fit in my actual embellishment drawer section. I have this Simple Stories, like, flip-through thingy, Rob. I don't know what it's called. I just know it's from Simple Stories. Not exactly the same color scheme, but I thought I might be able to use this, so I just threw it in. Jelly Bean Hexagon Stickers. This green matches very beautifully, so I pulled that in. Bella Boulevard Stars. Green. Um, lots of puppy stickers in here as well. Like, these are the Recollections Coastal Village stickers. They're just very tiny. Florals, flamingos, uh, palm leaves, regular leaves. It says, like, La Dolce Vita, Ciao Bella, those sort of things. We'll see. These are some Pink Fresh Studio stickers that are starting to, like, not be white anymore, so... <laughs> Um, I'm hoping to use up a lot of these. Again, brighter colors, but also pastel colors, so we'll see how those mix in. These Amy Tangerine stickers go better with the more whimsical papers that I pulled out. These are from her... I forgot what it's called. One of her collections. Another Pink Fresh Studio item from the Dream On collection. I thought these Leatherette stickers were pretty well, especially this bright blue and the greens. Again, very green. I pulled in these Wild Whisper uh, wood veneers. Um, these two wood veneers are the last of this feather set. And if I'm using that bird paper for what I think I'm going to use it for, I think these will go on that page very well. I pulled in some of these Joann's border punch pieces. I bought a bunch of these when they were on clearance before my Joann's closed. Um, so I just pulled out two of the yellow ones. These are some pretty little studio stickers. Just some basic mint heart stickers. I thought the mint would tow down some of the crazy colors that I have in my um, items picked out. These are some Jelly Bean Soup uh, puppy stickers. I think I bought these off of Blitzy. Haven't used them yet. Um, I don't even know what's on the second page. This is the first time I've ever opened them. They're for the Shades of Color Soup. 
not sure what that is, but it's like an art collection. So you got some color hard wheels, a color wheel, plus signs, splatters, hexagons, and some cute words, paintbrushes. You know, we'll see how that goes too. I don't know how it'll go, but I thought match the colors well. We might be able to get a page done with those. I brought this back again from the last uh, month kit. This is the Wild Heart Paper Pad 6x8. This, however, does have copper foiling, which as I mentioned earlier, I didn't have any foiling picked out until I showed you those thicker pieces. Um, there's not too much copper foiling, but what is there is very noticeable. So I think those two items will go great together. Super pretty pages though. And I didn't use this as much as I wanted to last week. Last week. I keep saying that. Last month. These are more items from that Kane Company set that I was showing you with the cutouts, uh, the beautiful die cut pieces. These are just little file tabs. They say explore. Cute. These are some Target puffy stickers. Now, these are very difficult for me to use as speech bubbles. I don't like the idea of putting something in someone's like picture, like pretending they're saying it. Um, but I do like making icons say things. So like if I had a cat die cut and it said whatever, that'd be super cute, you know? So we'll try to use those. Those are pretty old. I have some more stamp sets. This is the Heidi Swap stamp set from 2014. And it says things like counting blessings, be amazing, happy day, you are the best, document it, I heart your blank, thank you so much. I talked about this a lot when I hauled it. Um, I just kind of forgot I had it, so I threw it back in here. I think I've used it once. Maybe use it more. Another stamp set I've never used. This is the Coastal Village stamp set from Recollections, and I showed you the puffy stickers from this collection before. But there's easily some great florals and leaf images in here and the die cuts if I wanted to make my own die cuts um, with this. And you guys definitely want to see more stamping. And I do plan on making some more stamping on layout videos, but I'm also going to make a whole series about it in 2019 as soon as I find some time to breathe within my busy YouTube schedule. Here you can see I've also put in some of the Pink Fresh Studio The Mix number 2 tassel bows. I think the light blue and the pink and the green work very well with the items I've picked out. So we'll see if I can use those up. I also pulled in these doodle bug icons. I'm really hoping I can use these up on a page. Like it's just flowers and leaves, the word smile, and two mopeds. The mopeds might have to go on cars or cars on cards because they're really not my thing to use a moped on a layout, but we shall see again. Some cute recollections butterflies that I should probably use up by now. These are some American Crafts chipboard pieces. I thought the word sunshine went really well with the kit. Not really much anything else, but I really like that word. I have two sets of these Craft Smart stickers, and they're they are gold foiled, which again it depends on if I'm using any of the copper foiling if I'll use this. But there's some word stickers on this side in teal, whatever color that is, and then orange. And then this side has this side's beautiful florals, and then other little bits. And then this side has like a camera, a telephone, dream big, smile goals, treat yourself. So cute things, just cute. These are the Project Life confetti pieces. Again, very colorful, very bold, perfect for this um, sort of video, or I mean sort of collection. Kit, how to kill a kit with style kit is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I can't say it. But I really like how these bold colors work well with the other colors. Um, so there's three sheets here. Again, these colors are difficult for me to use on a journal basis. I could pick one to use, but like mixing them together like this is generally very difficult for me to do, so. We're really stretching it on this one. These are some Craft Smart die cut shapes, and I have featured these in projects before. I usually use them as tracers, but the colors of these leaves actually work well with my kit this time, so we'll see if I can use some of them up. I've also given away some of them before because I knew I wouldn't use some of the colors, but those are here. I also have these die cuts, which are from Recollections as well. I don't think it was the Coastal collection, but it might have been. These are actually from a banner kit because they have little holes in them. But I do plan on using them just on my pages, like a regular um, die cut. And then these stickers from Jelly Bean Soup I'm bringing back again, and I've used them several times. I think I might try to be able to use all of these up this month. We shall see. I can definitely use this one on a card, and this one perhaps on a card. We shall see. Really excited to try to use some stuff up. As you guys saw, I got a lot of like half-used things in here this month. We shall see where it leads us. Um, but I do have another uh, bin to show you, which is like smaller embellishments. And I think I won't go in as depth as I did on this one. Um, and as you can tell, as I'm sorting these, it's kind of like a puzzle to put everything back where it was. Um, which, working with things like this, it's not as organized as the IKEA organizer that I had them in last time. Because there were bigger sections, they stood upright, you could kind of flip through everything if you wanted. 
but it just wasn't working well in my desk space. I liked having it near me, but not in front of me, if that makes sense. So I don't have anywhere to put the IKEA organizer at the moment as per like on my desk or on the floor near my desk. So instead I just decided to keep it to the side for now and perhaps use it later on for something else. Um, but again, lots of puffy stickers, lots of stickers. We'll see where this takes us. Um, hopefully through a lot of layouts this month. Let me know what you guys are scrapbooking this month, if it's like tropical or if it's non-tropical or holiday pieces. I know a lot of people are doing. And this is the final bin. I tried to organize it as much as I could or I thought would work well for me. So I kind of won't go through the whole, each section individually, just kind of overview. I did pull out these uh, Faber-Castell Gelatos. I don't use these very much. I think I've used them maybe three times total. It's about time I used them. I thought these colors went really well. I do have like other greens and stuff. I just pulled out three. Um, these are just outcast washi tape that didn't fit well in the blue bin. This one's like a floral wreath and this one's like a light blue stripe. We have some magic mesh and then some acetate white flowers as well as a spare butterfly that fell off that set earlier. Now here I have my wood veneer that I've picked out. This is more wood veneer um, and then this rosette that I've made. This is an acrylic word from... I want to say Freckled Fawn. Some rubber shapes from Freckled Fawn and Pickfresh Studio. Larger wood veneer. These are neutral die cuts, so I have some LE Studio labels and then some Kane Company die cuts. We have pink, so it essentially goes pink, blue, orange, yellow, green, neutral. That's kind of how I did this and then my random threads back here. Uh, but the blues has some washi tape, the pinks has washi tape. They each have washi tape, which I think is kind of fun. If you guys watch Janet at RTS Scrapbooking, I talk about her a lot, but she stores everything by color. She has color bins for all of her stuff, not just for her kits or anything, but I thought this was like a micro version of her idea of using um, bins to control different colors, essentially. So I have orange, pink, blue, yellow, and green, because those are the main colors in my kit. And of course, neutral. This is the little metal pocket. So I have eyelets, I have brads, I have different flair that I've pulled out. Um, again, I don't want to go through all of this since this is kind of already a long video. Um, but I have some flair from the Crafty Pocket and from Freckled Fawn. Some paper clips from American Crafts and then just like Joann's. Not sure where this is from. Um, wood veneers from all over. Mostly Studio Calico and AliExpress. But I also got some rack ones and Hobby Lobby ones. Most of my die cuts are either Ellie Studio. So labels like this or like this. Um, or they are these bigger flowers, which are from that same flower set. I was showing you the leaves earlier, but this is from Recollections. This should be in the yellow pile, but it doesn't fit, so it's going in pink. That's just the only place it did fit. Um, the orange ones also contains a lot of the Doodlebug ones that I pulled out. So I have some Doodlebug as well as some Fancy Pants die cuts that I pulled out. So I put those back in there. And these washi tapes are mostly just from Recollections, nothing too fancy. This green one, Ellie Studio, Ellie Studio, Freckled Fawn, and then a Doodlebug, and then yellow's mostly Ellie Studio and Doodlebug. So those are what we have there. We have a little acrylic bin here. I have some Click Kits acrylics, some Freckled Fawn resin flowers, regular resin flowers from like eBay or AliExpress, and then some Hobby Lobby acrylic globes. Now if we move up to here, I've got some Doodlebug doilies, bigger flowers that don't fit in any of the other bins. These are some Pink Paisley Citrus Bliss acetate pieces. We have a You Make Me Happy wood veneer, which is really fun. And I have some of the Wild Whisper sequins that I have here. I don't believe this one's available anymore at the Wild Whisper shop, but there are similar ones. Um, so definitely check them out. Again, I'll have everything that I can find still linked down below. So we have these three sequin mixes from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I have some more in here, so I'm gonna pull those out. Then I have these ones. Went crazy with the sequins because, again, I'm on the design team. This will go towards all of my design team projects for them this month. So Summer Playground's almost done, so I hope to finish this up. And I know you guys are begging to see a shaker layout, so I'm going to bring another one of those back this month, probably. We have some hot pink stickers that were gifted to me from Becky. Thank you, Becky. And then these are all the die cuts that didn't fit anywhere else. Mostly doodlebug words. Then there's some actually, um, I think this is... Pink Paisley down here. Pink Paisley's, um, which collection was that? Citrus Bliss? Was that the one I mentioned earlier? So those are from there. I have some items from other pen pals that have gifted me. I have these little cute document envelopes. Beautiful yellow color. If I don't put this stuff away, I won't remember where it goes. <laughs> so 
So I'm just going to throw these back in here. Um, and then we only have one more section to go through, which is kind of crazy. And if you guys didn't notice, there's new packaging on this Beagle Mob scrap sequence, and you'll get a different quote for each um, different release, which is fun. Again, I need to use up some of my sequin mixes, guys. And then I do have a bunch of other items in here as well. So essentially, these are things that didn't fit in any of the other bins, um, or there wasn't room for them. Since I pulled out some mixed media items, I did pull out these... I believe they're Project Life, but they're designed by Heidi Swap, um, and these are some watercolor die cuts. So it says one of a kind, and this is watercolor paper. So we'll see if we can use some of these up on this uh, journey. I have some photo frames. Again, these were in my last month's kit, as well as this butterfly was. And then a bunch of these are just tags and large die cuts, but beneath that I have some word stickers from Heidi Swap. And these word stickers are in neon colors pink, green, and blue, and they do have gold foiling. Again, not a big deal to mix with copper. And those are super old. You guys remember when I used to use those all the time, I'm sure. And I also have some Heidi Swap puffy stickers in here that I'm trying to use up. And of course, these are Heidi Swap tags, these smaller ones. And then the bigger tags are just from Recollections. And that's it for my kit. Is that not the craziest kit you've ever seen in your life? Since I have a defined space for everything, it works pretty well so far. Um, I haven't created with this kit yet, but I did work with this um, system of organization for my October kit, which you guys, um, the killer kit was up yesterday, so you guys have to check that out if you haven't already, um, so you can see everything I made with my October kit, and then we'll dive into November and see what we can make with this kit. I'm really excited to share with you guys some more Wild Whisper products and to share you more Spiegel Mop Scraps products. Again, I'll be over there on the Spiegel Mop Scraps channel on um, every every week. Yep, I'll be over there every week. So definitely check me out over there if you haven't already. Um, and I think that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys are working with for the month of November. I know several of you are prepping for December daily because it's right around the corner. As you guys know, I don't usually do December daily, but I will be sharing some Christmas projects, some holiday projects um, towards the end of November and into December, of course. So get excited for everything that's coming up. I hope you guys have a lovely November that's full of crafty time and definitely let me know a goal of yours for November down below so that way we can kind of keep each other accountable when the end of November comes and we'll see how we met with our goals. So that's it for this. I plan on getting a lot of mixed media done this month. That's kind of my goal is to kind of use these new items that I've had sitting around. So we shall see if that happens, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!